I'm Dale Mathis coming to you from my home studio in Sun City, Arizona. And today I am playing three tunes from the Dale Mathis Slow and Easy Accordion course. And these are supplementary solos that I've added to lesson seven. And the uh, one that I want to spend time going through today is O oh, Solo Mio. <laughs> okay, this is absolutely the easiest version of this song. So um, it is not what, uh, you know, if you were out to an Italian restaurant somewhere and you heard an accordion player uh, playing this tune, uh, he'd add harmony and different rhythms and all that kind of stuff. But we'll make it a very simple version so that somebody who's just getting started out can at least enjoy the tune. So let's take you in here. Oh, before we do that, you have to go to dalemathisaccordion.com, dalemathisaccordion.com, and click on the Lessons tab, and this is Lesson 7. And you have to print out this sheet music because I'm going to be talking about uh, what you have to watch out for here. So let's take you in here. This is my little Roland FR1X accordion. It's the little 14-pound accordion with the Dale Mathis programming on it, of course. Dale Mathis sounds. So this version of O Solo Mio, I wrote it in the key of G so that it would fit within the keyboard range of this small accordion. We've only got two octaves of keys here. We have 72 basses over here. And so I needed to have it in a key where everything would fit within basically one big hand span. So the uh, thing to remember is that you've got an F sharp in this key signature, which means that every time that there's an F in the music, you have to play it with the black key F sharp. Okay, so also I wrote in all the finger numbers, and so we're gonna talk about that because there's a bunch of finger substitution in this tune. So it starts out on the little finger or the fifth finger. And you notice I wrote just a simple basic bass chord, bass chord. And so you have that uh, in the left hand G chord. And now you have to go to a D chord keep that fourth finger on the F sharp. And then in this measure five, you'll see that where I'm playing the thumb on C, you'll see I wrote it as one equals two. Well, that means you have to slide or substitute to your second finger. And the reason for that is so that you have enough fingers for the notes coming up. Because now you're gonna put your thumb down on A. And then here in this measure, in or rather in uh, measure eight, you're going to have a rest. And in that rest, you're going to take your fingers off the keyboard and come back down with your second finger again, so you have enough fingers for the notes coming up. And now you're going to have an E flat, E flat. That's this black key. And in the left hand, we've got to play a C minor. So we've been playing C major chord all along. Sounds like that. Well, now you have to take this second finger and move it back one row so that it sounds like minor. So that both the right hand, which this, this E flat is part of the C minor chord, and the left hand, so everything is in C minor right now. And now you're going to a G chord. And this is in measure 11. And here again, we've got another finger substitution. You'll see that it uh, says under that, uh, I wrote finger sub. And so you'll see that it says two equals five. That means that second finger while you're holding down that D in the right hand, you're just going to slide your little finger in there. And again,
again so that you have enough fingers for the rest of the song. <laughs> Okay, now on the next page, measure 18, you've got a rest, and then you've got two eighth notes, and notice that the fingering changed again. You're going to play the G with a third finger. So those eighth notes, both of those eighth notes have to go in on the G chord. So it would be... Do that again. Do it one more time. And then change your chord in the next measure. And also in this song, you see how all of the F sharps are in parentheses? That's not normal. I put those in there as reminders for you so that you don't forget to play the F sharp normally in uh, traditional music because the F sharp is in the key signature you'll just see an F and uh, you have to remember to play it as F sharp. All right, so in measure 19, and here again, I'm gonna move my third finger in to play the F sharp. D chord in the left hand. Again, eighth notes, that's in measure 26. Stretch, G chord, D chord. Okay, so lots of stuff to watch out for in this tune. But hey, everybody loves this tune, so it's well worth spending your time learning how to play this one. And in addition, in this video, you'll also find my recordings for the Too Fast Polka and the Super Fast Boogie. <laughs> so I'm not going to uh, talk you through playing those, but at least I wanted to give you a recording of it so you could hear how I wrote them. And uh, hopefully you can uh, come up with the same thing. So thanks so much for watching today. Again, the sheet music for all of these lessons is at my website, dalemathisaccordion.com. Put that in there, dalemathisaccordion.com. And you find them by clicking on the Lessons tab, and then the drop-down menu has all 60 lessons listed there, and you can just click on which one you're looking for. Okay, so thanks so much for watching today. Give this video a thumbs up. And we'll see you again next time.